Hey guys! Hello! Happy Friday! Yeah! So we did the first round of fidget spinner testing on Tamara's page, which is Misled, America's Secret Epidemic, which is a documentary film about lead poisoning in America. So watch round one on Tamara's page on Misled. This is Tamara from TamaraRubin.com, Let's Safe Mama, and Misled America's Secret Epidemic. And I'm Carissa Bonham. I write at CreativeGreenLiving.com, and we are testing fidget spinners for lead. This is a big thing that's hit the news on both my site and on Tamara's site, that we have found a lot of lead in fidget spinners. So we are using today... This is an x-ray fluorescent spectrometer. It's a scientific instrument. That's why we're wearing lab coats, to make us look like scientists. Yes, because uh. we got criticized for not looking scientific enough <laughs> that we just look like moms who are hanging out at home. So now we've upgraded. Yeah. We have a secret laboratory <laughs> and lab coats. So yes. that you can take us seriously in a mansplaining world. <laughs> and I am trained and certified in using this highly scientific instrument that is used by the Consumer Product Safety Commission to determine if toys are safe for children. And um, it reads in parts per million and it gives the readings actually pretty instantly. Mm -hmm. So we try and do a, a 10 to 30 second reading for the sake of the video. We try and make it a little faster. And we are going to be testing another, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spinners right now, yeah. if we can get to them. And one thing I wanted to bring up is a lot of the um, critics were saying that we had only tested 11 spinners and only two of them found, were leaded. Well, we now have tested uh, and found nine with high levels of lead and, and then another 13 with no lead and two with low lead. So th it's more than just, you know, a small percentage in a random uh, sample. It seems to be pretty consistent that the heavy heavy ones that um, are made of metal have lead. Like the high-end, fancy, expensive ones. And so this is the one we're going to test next. This is from Miss Overton, um, I believe. And it says, great for stress relief, soon master by Crazy Spinner, limited edition, work school home, high performance bearing, and warning choking hazard, not for children under six years old. Um, and it doesn't say anything about chemical toxicity. And it says made in China. And I can't read what that says. 100% something. 100% satisfaction guarantee. <laughs> All right. Oh, so it's Tammy. Tammy Overton. Hi, Tammy. I don't know. Well, she'll have to see this probably. I don't, I don't, I, well, I'll tell we'll her. her. Yeah. So I'm going to put this up here and um, put the little scope right on the center. And this, this spinner is kind of heavy and made of metal, so there's a good chance it could have lead. Um, a lot of these are made with lead and brass, it appears. And most of the fidgets that we've tested today that are made of metal tested positive for lead. Yeah, but some of them didn't. Some of them didn't. That's true. We did find we had two, I believe, that were unleaded and um, two that were low lead. Yeah. So that were within the This safety. one is testing positive for copper and zinc and nickel and chromium, but no lead. That's awesome. Um, no cadmium, no mercury, and we can double check and see if there is any ar arsenic. So this one actually uh, looks like a good choice. Tammy, you made a really good choice. Good job, Spin and, Master. And the one thing is you, you can't extrapolate from this one to others that look like it. True. Be because this, there might be lead underneath the bearing as well. We don't know underneath this thing. We don't know without taking it apart. But, but this, this rainbow anodized finish, some of them have lead if they have that finish and some of them don't. So it's, there's, it's, it's a toss up and, and, and you can't say that all of them are safe. But this Which one appears to be uh, lead free using an X-ray fluorescent spectrometer. Um, there's other ways of testing that might turn up lead. Um, oh, so this, let's check out this one. It's kind of cool. Um, we can watch it spin. Woo! And it, I think that this is going to turn out to be leaded brass and that that's going to turn out to be copper because um, it looks like copper. <laughs> and the problem is with these ones with the leaded brass centers is that's where you put your fingers. <laughs> right. So if it has, you know, the ones we're finding with the leaded brass centers, not only test positive for lead, but they test positive for really, really high amounts of lead where you would expect there to be 100 or less parts per million lead in any toy intended for children under the age of 14. And we are finding things in the tens of thousands, like this one is um, more 20, than 27,300 27, parts per million lead in the center. And, and the hazard level is anything over 90 um, or, um, or 100 in a, in a coating. Um, I always get those 
swapped in my brain. So it's, it's 90 and 100. One's for coating. One of the measurements is for coatings. The other is for substrate. However, you can also see from looking at this that it's 90, 999,900 parts per million copper. So this is solid copper, but this is brass for no reason. The part that you touch is the most highly contaminated part. Which yeah, one? and we're going to wash our hands after this. Absolutely. So that's so that we have now one more one more leaded. We should like uh, do this as we go. That's right. Um, we're going to add one more to the leaded pile and one more to the unleaded pile. Perfect. Um, Can we flip up the screen on the XRF? It's easier to see what we're filming. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Thank Very you. Very good. Uh, so this one looks super cool. I'm going to guess, well, one second, that this is um, going to be unleaded because you can tell this is copper, looks like a penny, and this really looks like stainless steel. Yeah. So let, let's, That's my uh, vote as well. Let's go with unleaded. And if you have any questions, let us know. And, and this is, I'm going to reach, excuse me. This is the brand of the one that we're testing right oh, now. Oh, good. So this is the one that we're testing right now. And we don't need to do a long test. You can show... Right now it says 999,900 parts per million copper. And that's the center button. Yeah, and there's no lead, cadmium, or mercury. And I'm just going to check on the stainless steel. And it says on the side that it's stainless steel on the side of the package. Yes. Um, Which is good. Yeah. And it's funny because the label says established 2016, but it's like it's 2017. And these, it's like crazy. Like I maybe they I made other things. I didn't know they, about the company got established yeah. and they make fidget spinners. <laughs> I think a lot of them did. A lot of them have these like. Um, well, I think a lot of them are like um, parts companies, right? Oh, or like okay. um, bike parts or bearing so parts. So this is stainless steel. It's not telling me a grade, but it's chromium and uh, iron and nickel, which are Perfect. the main ingredients of stainless steel. Great. So this one would go. So this one's good. Can you put it here the with the factory? safe range? So yeah. this is the one that's considered safe. So unleaded, one more, unleaded. One more unleaded. Good job, VC, EDC. <laughs> and so then we have this one, which is super cool looking. It almost looks like a money clip. It really spins neat. Again, this may or may not be leaded brass. This, the difference, you can see the difference in these two brasses. This is almost more of a honey color. It not, it's not definitely that color different, but um, it could have more copper in it. So mm -hmm. there's a chance that it could be an unleaded brass with copper, but I'm still going to think it's got some amount of lead in it, um, as my so, guess. Yeah. Um, maybe it doesn't have 33,000 like the one we tested yeah, earlier. Maybe it just has 30,000. Right. 20,000, <laughs> which is way more than 100, Yeah. <laughs> which is the legal limit. So, oh, that's turning out good so far. Oh, wait, just kidding. I am so smart sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the difference in the color is so subtle that... I've done all of this work with lead and testing and the metals and toys and, and, and I just, you know, I, I can see the very subtle difference in color. Mm -hmm. um, so this is um, iron and uh, chromium in the button in the center and nickel and copper. And so the copper that is high copper, 8,000 parts per million copper and, and no lead at all. Um, the whole thing. I didn't test this, this, the other side. Part. Oh. So that's really great. I think. Let's see, who sent these to me? Um, these are from Jessica. Jessica, this is a good choice. I really like the things you sent us, Jessica. I like all of them. I think there's a... The, Except for the copper one that was <laughs> high lead in the center. <laughs> They're all pretty cool. So, oh, so, uh, no, let's see. It's coming up stainless steel, uh, 410, 16. So, so this one has no lead. I'm not going to take it apart. So I don't know if there's no lead um, inside. But it has no lead testable from the uh, the assembled uh, status with an XRF. So that's going to go on another one for the unleaded. And these ones are extra fancy. Like they come with a little carrying case, like a pocket knife or something. Yeah. The, the, and again, there's two different colors of brass in here. And so um, it, it, they both look, they, they, they may not be leaded. Um, but it's like this, this one, it looks like it maybe even has more copper um, than the other one. If you guys are just joining us, we are testing fidget spinners for lead, cadmium, and mercury. We have a tally board over here for what we found with lead, without lead, and with low levels of lead. And we are using an X-ray fluorescent spectrometer, which is a $50,000 scientific instrument that Tamara is trained and certified how to use. And so here's a funny thing. So I said, you know, this kind of looks like it's higher copper. Well, yeah, it is higher copper. It turns out that it's... Um, 
519,000 parts per million copper. So I was right about that. But one thing I haven't seen before is something that's so high copper that's also 22,300 parts per million lead. So this is a fail in that it has um, lead in the center at a super high level. Um, Do you want to taste the other? Yeah, I'm going to test the other little thing without taking it out of the box <laughs> because it's hard to get out of the box. We tried that earlier. And... Um, you know, but basically we've been saying if it's a fail on one part, it's a fail across the board. We're, we're Especially in the center, right? Because, like, yeah. even if the fins are unleaded, if the part that you're touching all day long has a high amount of lead, that's a problem. And so this one, um, 19,000 also parts per million lead in the center. And, you know... Um, so both of these are leaded. They are not safe, according to the CPSC standards. For children. Of, um Items intended for children under the age of 14. Well, and one might argue that this is in no way intended for a child. I don't know. It almost looks like a pocket knife, like you said, like a weapon. You know, it was But, like, I would think, like, this looks like the Boy Scout version of the fidget spinner for, like, kids, like, 19 to 15, or 9 to 15. Oh, okay. You know, like, I, yeah. If my son were a little bit older, like, and he wanted a fidget spinner, maybe he'd get an extra fancy one like this. How'd the leather do? The leather was negative for lead. <laughs> Today I tested a, a set of, um... Footstools from Target, they looked like they were made of leather, um, but they were like they were like vinyl, and they're seven years old, and they're kind of brown, brown leather looking, and they were um, like 1,200 parts per million lead oh. um, in, the, in these footstools. So this one looks like it's stainless steel, and um, I'm going to bet, this is the one I said to my son, if these test negative, I want to get this one for you because it's like the coolest one that I think they have. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, out of all the ones that seem to be negative. But now we have, um, so wait, so we have to add another one to the leaded. leaded. Um, yeah, so this is, I'll do it. Okay. okay. So we've got another leaded one. And but this, this one's one not detect. is stainless steel as anticipated. And I don't know if this is just another, so that was um, stainless steel 316. And this might just be another grade of stainless steel, like one's polished and, or, you know, it might just, it's a slightly different uh, color center. Um, so I'm testing the alter. They, this one has a separate, like what, if you lose the center bearing, you okay. need to put a new one in. Um, and it's got a little cleaning cloth and everything. Yeah, so this is also stainless steel. So this is um, a really cool one that's, Expensive. But from the same company as this one. Like mm -hmm. these are the same company. Yeah. And this one tested way above regulation limits for lead in children's items, and then this one is completely lead free. Yeah. So here with this set so far, this one was unleaded, this one was leaded, this one was unleaded, this one was leaded, and this one was un um, unleaded, right? Yeah. Um, so that is that for those. And we tested this one, it was unleaded. And then these came from Holler. These two right here. Yeah, these two right here can come on. And I'm going to guess that these are going to be lead-free because these ones have been, um, the style of spinner with plastic and the metal bearings has been doing okay for us in tests. And so this says Elite Spinner Glowing World Text Toys um, from China, Choking Hazard, not for children under three here, but then it says six plus. It can't make up its mind. <laughs> um, and I'm going to assume... So, so I, I've, been, I've been told by some people, let me see, mm, I can't take this off. The, the, pieces, the black one came off, though. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take apart the black one. So there may be lead in the bearings. I'm going to start by testing the metal part right here. Okay. Um, and since I'm not taking it apart, it, it won't give me a, a definitive reading. It might give me a low reading if there is, but um, it should give me a sense of whether or not there's any lead in there. And, and so far, the ones I've tested where I tested on the bearings, so that there wasn't lead. The ones that look like this. Although some of the ones where the leaded, the, the center is leaded brass, and even the rainbow ones, when they've been taken apart, even the, the mechanisms inside are also uh, lead. So um, this is turning out negative on Wonderful. the bearing. And on the edge bearing, right? Not the yeah. center. And bearing. we don't know who sent these to us. Yeah, if you sent us fidget spinners from Holler, can you send us a screenshot of the thing and then we'll send them back to you if you'd like? Yeah, because uh, we want to send them back to you. Um, uh, well, you know, if you want to give them to my kids, that's fine too. Yeah. <laughs> but 
But actually, I'm, I think he wants one of these stainless steel ones. I, I've been kind of keeping these away from them because I just am afraid. This is my biggest fear, that they're going to chuck them at each other. Oh. Fear, lead, right? I know, it is kind of like a ninja star, right? This is like lead-free, but can you imagine if someone threw this at somebody else's head? Right. That's like major damage. That's a problem. Um, or the wall. So this one came out negative. Wonderful. It's, um, a leak glow-in-the-dark spinner. Great. And I'm, like I said, expecting this one to also come out negative. And again, um, we are, and so I'm going to test this the bearing in the center. It's kind of interesting how quickly this fell off. It did, didn't, f didn't take much. So, so someone said that this center bearing tested positive. Is that what you On said? theirs, yeah. So somebody else sent us photos online where they had taken apart their kids' plastic fidget spinners that were this same style and then used 3M lead check swabs, which um, for the people watching are generally used to test paint for lead. And if it triggers positive, it means it's got at least 600 parts per million of lead or higher. And sometimes you can use them to test metals. But the thing is, is that in order to test positive, um, some of the leaded component needs to rub off onto the swab. So it's not necessarily good for things like plastic or ceramic where the lead is trapped inside the item or it doesn't slough off very easily so this was very interesting to us that they had um positive. tested positive yeah and they and said it's that possible that they use the swab wrong and so that is we, possible we should test some more of these with a swab on sunday yeah which we'll do and then um then we'll, we'll have some examples of that yeah um, i would love if she could send us hers too right yeah, just to yeah. double so check wait, so we just added another unleaded and this one's unleaded so wonderful um right now we have 11 with lead well, 12, we have 13 with lead, uh, 11 or high, two or low, and then we have 19 uh, without lead. So 13 with lead, 19 without lead, that's almost 50-50. Not I mean, it's, scientifically, but. it's. I mean, it's by no means that we're not saying that all of them have lead. Somebody published um, a report from what we had written and said, "Throw away your fidget spinners; they all have lead." And I think both of us would agree that's a little bit overkill because there are lead-free spinners on the market, but you can't just buy any fidget spinner as we've shown you because I'm going to be a scientist. Even the right. ones that are um, labeled for kids over age six or over age three are we're still finding high quantities, illegal quantities of lead in the and, and one of the things that was really interesting to me is they said, they're like, oh, uh, this will kill your child. And at, part of me said, um, hi, Kara. Hi, Ruth, Ruth Ann. <laughs> um, are you they friends of yours? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, 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 you know, I say that I didn't say in an alarming way, this will kill your child. I never said that. No. But what I did say is if a child swallowed this, it could kill them. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's not to be taken lightly. This is... Um, this is super high lead, and if it came off and was ingested by a child, it would be it would be definitely enough to kill them. And this is small small enough to be ingested by a child. It's not you know it's there's my finger compared to yeah. it. It's not and that. all of the LED light up spinners that we've tested so far have tested positive for lead and mercury. Some and of them. mercury, yeah. So the concerning thing about that, not just the really high lead levels in the twenty thousand parts per million range or higher when it should be a hundred or less, is that the button batteries you can swallow them, and if you swallow a button battery that can kill you by itself even if there's no lead yeah and, and we we tagged um on some of our blog posts you can see the um the articles about how the the button batteries actually just like melt through the esophagus and right it's bad bad news so it's scary yeah because the saliva will conduct the electricity from the bottom of the battery to the top of the battery and then if anything it touches it can burn through inside yeah. of your child's body so, so that is scary do and, not buy light up spinners for your kids yeah we you know those we really feel like they're not safe because we haven't yet found a light up spinner where the light is integrated into the spinner. We've only found it where they pop them in and they're easily popped out and any kind of inquiring child can take them apart. So And eat it. Yeah. That's like my three-year-old would totally eat it. Yeah. He sticks everything in his mouth still. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm going to get, I'm going to probably get one of these, um, these little stainless ones like that looks like a knife. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to get one of these for the kids if, if uh, well, Charlie's birthday is coming up. Oh, there so. you go. Perfect. And, and it also is heavy. It's solid stainless steel. It's heavy and it spins nicely. And he'll probably end up chucking this at his brother's face. <laughs> but yeah. uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, get, maybe get brother a shield to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for so, tuning in. I'm Tamara Rubin from TamaraRubin.com. And I'm Carissa from CreativeGreenLiving.com. There will be a write-up about our results of the fidget spinner testing that we're doing this weekend on both of our websites at TamaraRubin.com and CreativeGreenLiving.com. And again, almost half of them... I don't know if is that is that backwards. It's backwards now. Yeah. Yeah. Almost half of them had um, 
had, had lead. But we'll link, we'll post links for me when we have them of ones that both have lead and then are unleaded so you guys can see. And in general, the ones that don't have lead that, from our findings, and some of these may still have lead, are, are these kind of basic plastic, my son says the boring ones. Yeah. And so the boring ones mostly don't have lead. So those And are fidget cubes. Choice. The plastic fidget cubes we've tested, none of them have tested positive for lead And the kids so don't far. want to play with them. Have you, have you talked to um, kids about that? I've seen grown-ups who have them. Those are the grown-up ones. <laughs> yeah, and, and um, the, it, these don't also spin very well because they're not as heavy, apparently. So there's all sorts of points against them, but they're the, but then the, you, there's other safety issues, obviously, the swallowing, the finger issue, you know. Yeah, a kid almost had his finger amputated. Because yeah, they popped yeah. one off and stuck it on his finger and they couldn't get so, it. So, and that's again, I'm sorry we're rambling here, I'm going on, but that's why I like these that are solid because there aren't like these external little pieces that come off. Except so, don't get a brass except one. Except for the lead. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so we got, okay, thank you very much and tune in back at Miss Lead America's Secret Epidemic. We will be doing more on Sunday. We might do another video tonight. I don't know if you, you're I tired. Know. We'll see. <laughs> we're speaking at a rally tomorrow yes. in Portland. If you're in Portland, come see us at the Children's March for Humanity at 9 a.m. Yeah. Downtown, <laughs> very your soon. Lloyd Center. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye. Yeah.